I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today, for those of you that don't know, I'm in America, Las Vegas, with my good friend, for those of you that don't know, Chris from The Rewired Soul. I'm sure a lot of you already know who he is, so thanks yeah. for having me, man. Yeah, we're both here in Las Vegas yeah. now. It's good. It's good, different to England. Yeah, a little Very bit. Different. And what we got, we're, we're going to be talking about the different American sayings. Yeah. Like, does that did that make you nervous when you were coming here? Yeah, it did. Did a you lot. know? Did you know that like some of the words you say are going to be different? Some of them, not yeah. all of them. Some of them. Yeah. Like, so, I, I know England says tomato. Yeah. And you say. I usually say tomato. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Same thing. And what about potato? Yeah, potato. You say potato. Yeah, do you say potato? No, no, no. We, don't say, <laughs> we don't say potato. Yeah. Well, speaking of potatoes, let's say we just went and had a delicious lunch, but they offered chips. They offered him chips for lunch, and yeah. I was like, and Charlie said, yeah, the chips. And I was like, wait, does he know what chips are? So, <laughs> so what, what ended up happening? They, they got the, they were like banana chips, weren't they? Yeah, they were like banana chips, like... I don't know. You know me. Yeah, it was like a me. it was like a, a a Mexican restaurant. So they actually had like plantain chips, yeah. which is like an unripened banana. But yeah, right before the guy walked away, Charlie was like, "Wait, I'm from England. We call chips fries." And yeah, <laughs> yeah. So in England, chips are what you call French fries. Yeah, and. You call chips like tortilla chips? Yeah, there's like the tortilla chips or potato chips. But that's what we would call crisps. Oh yeah, crisps. So your chips are our crisps. Yeah. And then our chips are your crisps. Yeah. And you, and you know what I I, I heard uh, okay so the, I heard so like not many people wear these anymore but I heard a fanny pack is something like fanny is something different in England. Yeah, you call fanny bum. Is a fanny a bum for no, you? No, no. Fanny pack is like <laughs> it's like a little thing that you wear around your waist and then yeah. you like put stuff in it. Yeah, I know what you're on about. We don't we don't really call them fanny packs. Yeah. I don't know what we call Doesn't them. Doesn't fanny mean one. something else? Yeah, is fanny it, means vagina. Yeah, yeah, so that's a little bit different. So you don't call a fanny yeah. a vagina a fanny? <laughs> no. You don't? No. No, we don't even really talk about people's I, I guess bits. We don't, yeah, 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 we don't talk about our bits and pieces to other strangers in public. Yeah. That's interesting though. Like <laughs> But yeah, so what about what about smoking? So this is, a, this is an interesting one too. I was worried about Charlie coming here and talking about smoking. Mm -hmm. Did you slip up? Yeah, loads of times. So the first time I went to the store. So let, let's rewind, let's rewind. In England, now before I say this, we don't mean to mean offense to anybody. None. Okay, so this isn't, don't take this the wrong way. This is different cultures saying different things. In England, we call cigarettes fags. So I would say, I'm going outside for a fag, meaning I'm going outside for a cigarette. Yeah. And didn't you freak your girlfriends or your fiancés? Yeah, my, my fiancé's grandma, I said to her, she's American, uh, we're staying at a house, I said, I'm going outside for a fag. And she was like... She's like, what? What? <laughs> Hey yeah. man, what you on about, man? Yeah, I doing the accent right. Yeah, that was a, oh, Amer a beautiful American accent. Yeah, so she was just like, what? What? What's it? She obviously, the yeah. fag means something different, doesn't it? It's yeah, disrespectful yeah. term. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. And that that's one thing that I think is crazy, just like how different that word is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. especially like when you're traveling internationally, like that can make you nervous. That can make you anxious. But you haven't said it like at a grocery. At no, like a no, store. no. I've never after that <laughs> experience. I never said it again. Yeah. But another thing, when I went up to the counter to buy cigarettes here, you do it in packs. Yeah. So you're like, I want one pack or yeah. a pack or ten packs. Yeah. In England, we say, can I have twenty of whatever the brand of cigarettes are? Yeah. So I went up and I said, can I have twenty of these? So the man went to the back <laughs> and come out with this with like twenty box. Yeah. Packs of cigarettes, and I was like, "No, mate." Like, <laughs> yeah. Like the second he started telling me the story, I'm like, "Oh no, that didn't go. That didn't go well." And we were like arguing for literally like three, four, five minutes, and he was like, "This is twenty cigarettes." I was like, "No, it's not. I want twenty cigarettes." And he was like, "This is twenty. <laughs> this is twenty. Did you think at all that maybe each box had one cigarette in it? That'd be kind of weird. I, I don't know. I just, I was just so confused. I was like, "Yeah," <laughs> and then. 
he, he left and he got so annoyed that the woman had to explain to me. She was like, when you ask here, you ask a pack. So he thought 20 yeah. packs. Yeah. I, I meant 20 individual cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's kind of cool because in England, I guess, you can get you can get half. Yeah, yeah, you can get you 10 or you can get 20. That's why we ask. Yeah. I'll have 10. Oh, I'll have twenty. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Do you get ner Do you get nervous having a, a British accent in America? Yeah, I do. Um, I thought people wouldn't be able to understand me. Uh, yeah. And some people don't. Really? Yeah. They They're like, what do you say? Because there's some. There, well, there's there's like, aren't there like different like types of accents yeah, in different yeah. parts of England? Yeah. yeah. There's some people that speak. What is it? Is it Cockney? Yeah. So London Cockney. And that's like it's that's hard to understand. Yeah. yeah. Can you understand it? Well, yeah, because I'm from there. But, oh. <laughs> but then you also have Scouse, which is Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, which is really different. Yeah. Uh, I'll, 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 I might try and do it. Um, okay. Uh, Let's hear it. Okay. Um, it's th th uh, this is a this is a bad bad representation of what it is. <laughs> um, but because I. I, I play football soccer oh yeah you call it soccer yes so I go to a lot of like the football games back in England so I'm only doing it off like how they speak about the football so they're like fuck me like a fucking Liverpool shite today mate <laughs> fucking hell mate fucking Steven Gerrard terrible today mate like that like it's yeah it's that is terrible like that is not just type into Google like Scouse accent like honestly I, that was nothing like it <laughs> but did you understand I, yeah I kind of I kind of like, it's proper like <sighs> When they talk, like you know yeah. what I mean. Like, has anybody had trouble understanding you? Since you, have you had to like repeat yourself? Yeah, a few times. So my fiance's granddad, he's uh, he's American, and he sometimes he's like, "What? What did you say?" And I have to repeat myself because he doesn't understand what I'm saying. He's like, "What?" Yeah, and I'm just. It, it must be like the accent, so he's not deaf or anything, so yeah. it must be that. Yeah, but people thought you've been from like what Australia? It, it, yeah, so this has happened at least five times they asked me what is it like in australia and i'm like i, I don't know i've never been to australia <laughs> like <laughs> what and they're like oh really i thought you you're from australia and i was like no i'm from england and they're like yeah. oh your accent sounds australian like that's so crazy by the way let us know in the comments if you can tell the difference between yeah. a british and australian accent yeah let us know let us know yeah. because it's annoying me <laughs> it's really annoying i've me. literally never heard anybody say that like i i don't know that's weird did it happen in los angeles or did it happen here in las vegas uh, it happened in both yeah it happened in both but most of the time in los angeles yeah like four of the times was in los angeles really and um yeah, that's, one of them wasn't even an American citizen. He was traveling from Dubai. Oh, really? Which is kind of near on the way to Australia. Yeah. So I thought maybe he would be like, no. He yeah. Was like, he goes, how long was your flight here? Okay, so. It's sorry about Dubai. That. Yeah, sorry about that YouTube problems. <laughs> yeah, so the guy in Dubai. Wait, you said, what were we talking about? Yeah, you would expect because Dubai is kind of on the way yeah. to Australia. And he was like, how long was the flight to Los Angeles from Australia? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I never came from Australia, I came from England. He was like, really? You sound Australian? And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, it really annoyed me. I don't know why, it just, it's like you coming to England and someone saying to you, how long was the flight? Uh, oh, you sound um, Spanish. Yeah. Was, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Something yeah. ridiculous, like. Yeah. No way. Are there, are there any words that you think have been weird? In, do you have any words in America that you don't know what they mean, but people keep saying them? Yeah, quite a few, but I can't think off the top of my head. Let yeah. me try and think. <laughs> um, yeah, there is there is one thing. It's a bit awkward though. You guys, I always hear like third base. Third base. Where are you hearing this from? <laughs> <laughs> or like second base? Like yeah. I went to third base or second base. What, what's so that? Funny. That's like something like. High, are you watching like high school TV? Yeah, I saw on Friends. You know, oh. Friends. Monica was like at yeah. my party. You went to third base with so and so. I'm like, what? 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 Yeah, that's like that's third like, base. It's like uh uh like 
making out, and then there's like oh, other stuff. Oh. Yeah, so like first base would be kissing. Oh, and then sec so, seconds yeah. a little more, than, and then home base is the the main. Yeah. Why don't you just? Why did you call it base? I don't know. Maybe it's like code. That's an interesting thing. I wonder where that came from. Like we like. I think that was like kind of code, like in high school and stuff. Like as an adult, you wouldn't say. No, it. you like, wouldn't say it. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's oh, okay. that's funny. That's what, here's what I want you to do, Charlie. I want you to keep a list so we can do another video and you can ask me the meeting. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it from now. I'll create a new list. Yeah. And every time we see each other, yeah. we'll write one of these videos. Yeah, like I was wondering, like sometimes when I'm talking to Charlie too, I'm like, I wonder like, cause there's words that I say all yeah. the time and I'm like, I wonder if he'll know what this means. So if I ever say something, you just let me know. Someone told me, cause I always say mate, I always yeah. call you mate, don't I? I'm like, yeah. you're right, mate. I'll be, like, I use it every sentence. Yeah. Someone told me in America, mate means like girlfriend, boyfriend. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, I wouldn't think that. Like, usually if I hear somebody like you saying yeah. mate, like, it's just like the same way we say like, dude or man. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, what's up, man? You know? So if we, so when we go out in public and I'm like, you're right, mate, someone listening might think we were together. I don't think so. Oh, they I don't, know. I don't think, like, it'd be really weird. Like, yeah. cause I never introduced like my girlfriend. Like, hey, this is my mate. Yeah, that is, you know, it doesn't like, make sense, be, does it? Yeah, that'd be weird. That's like, and also another thing that's really weird is we drive on different sides of the road. Yeah, yeah. Charlie was telling me that he could drive here legally. Yeah. That scares me because if I was on the <laughs> other side, I would be freaking out. Like, are the gas pedals and everything on different sides too? Do you have to use your left foot? No, we use gas? right foot for gas. Okay, okay. I think. Yeah, so anyways, Charlie's not going to be driving my car until I know he's he's good to drive. Until I'm good to drive. Have you driven yet? No. No? No. Yeah. That's what you need to do. You need to film that. <laughs> British guy learns how to drive <laughs> yeah. in America. Everyone's beeping their horns. Yeah. Get out of the way, you yeah. maniac. So Charlie's here in Las Vegas, and we were talking, too. Like, both of us get anxious in crowded spaces, mm -hmm. like the Las Vegas Strip. So we're to tossing around ideas of maybe going down there. We can bring this beautiful camera. So let us know if you want to see us freaking out and overcoming our fears on the yeah. Las Vegas Strip. Yeah, and looking like idiots. Yeah. Yeah, we were also talking about... that's Man, we can do a million videos. We're also talking about how we are not comfortable vlogging in public. <laughs> like, yeah. we're sitting right outside of a mall right now in my car because we both feel weird about, like, walking around with a camera and talking. Yeah, it's like... It just doesn't seem right, does it? Yeah. Like, you don't see people do it, do you? No. Have you ever seen anybody no, vlogging with a big camera? but when I camera? watch, like, other YouTubers, like, in Los Angeles, it seems like everybody's just walking around with a camera. I know. And they just do it like it's no big deal. But you never see anyone, though, do you? No. Like... I, I haven't seen anybody today doing it. It's just... I don't feel comfortable doing it, mate. No, I know. That's I why we gotta, like we gotta it. fight our fears. Yeah. That's what we gotta do. Prove everyone that they can overcome their fears. Exactly. That's what we're gonna do. That's what mental health's all about. Exactly. That's what we're gonna do. Well, awesome. we'll leave it there for today, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thanks, everybody. Subscribe, comment, like, boom. Yeah. And if you haven't, if you don't already know, Chris, I'm pretty sure 99% of them. You've been here before. I've you been. Yeah. I've been around. You've been here before. But more, much more to come. Now that we're in the same city. Yeah. yeah we're exactly. In the, we're in the same country. Exactly. Yeah. We're like how, how far away from each other? 30 minutes? Yeah, it's about 30, 30 minutes. We live on yeah opposite side of town. Yeah. 30 minutes away. Uh, whereas before it was what? Like 15 hours. <laughs> yeah, 15 yeah. hours on a, and that's on a plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, let us know what you think down below. What, yeah. what did we ask them to, to comment? Com oh, Australian. Can you know the difference between Australian and my accent? Yeah. And then also, do they want to see us go into the main strip in Las Vegas where all the casinos and bars are? Yeah. And yeah. overcome our fears. Do you want to see that? Let us know. Let us know. And if you haven't already, check out check out the Rewired Soul. Links will be in the description. So take care, guys and girls, and we'll see you all soon. Yep. We'll see you very soon. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.